that we're going to solve a trigonometric equation. We'd like to solve the equation negative 3 cosine of pi over 2 minus theta is equal to tangent of theta. And we want to solve that on the interval 0 less than or equal to theta less than 2 pi. The first thing we'd like to notice is that cosine of pi over 2 minus theta is equal to sine of theta. So we'll have minus 3 sine theta is equal to the tangent of theta. Next, we're going to bring the negative 3 sine theta to the other side, so we'll get a 0 on the left. We'll have 0 is equal to tangent of theta plus 3 sine theta. Now, even though we know tangent is sine over cosine, we need to resist the temptation to just divide by sine. Because the sine value can actually be 0, we don't want to divide by 0. So we're going just to add 3 sine theta to both sides. So here we have 0 equals tangent theta plus 3 sine theta. We're going to rewrite tangent as sine of theta over cosine theta plus 3 sine theta. Here we can factor a sine theta out. 0 is equal to sine of theta times 1 over cosine theta plus 3. And we're going to set each one of these factors equal to 0. So we'll get sine of theta is equal to 0, and we'll get 1 over cosine theta plus 3 is equal to 0. And the second equation here will yield us cosine of theta is equal to negative 1 third. So we need to find values for theta that solve these two equations. And we know that sine of theta is going to equal 0 when theta is equal to 0, or theta is equal to pi. Now, cosine of theta is equal to negative 1 third in quadrants 2 and 3. If we solve that, we'll know that theta is equal to pi minus cosine inverse of 1 third, or theta is equal to pi plus cosine inverse of one-third. Now, zero and pi, these are exact values. Pi minus cosine inverse of one-third is exact. This is a little messy to write that down. This is approximately equal to uh, 1.911, and this is approximately equal to 4.373. So when we write our solution set, so the solution set here would be 0, 1.911 roughly, pi, and then roughly 4.373.